Now, gas under two bucks a gallon. We got excited when the price dropped. It gets better tomorrow for one day only. A serious deal when it comes to filling up your tank. You'll pay just a dollar fifteen for E15 fuel with 15% American ethanol. Roger Berry with the Nebraska Corn Board is here to take us. Tell us how to take advantage of that. Good to see you, Roger. Good to see you guys too. This Good morning. morning. When you come in, it seems like you're always bringing these deals. Oh, uh, uh, you know what? We up. try. <laughs> we try. So what's it, this, is, this is tomorrow, right? What's yes, going on tomorrow? it is tomorrow. As you mentioned in your in your intro there, exciting stuff. Tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., uh, select come and go stations here in Omaha mm -hmm. in the surrounding area are going to be selling E15 for $1.15. For 12 hours. For 12 hours. That's now, crazy. Now, this is going to be a little different than what you've seen in the past. You've seen us do these promotions with come and go before where we did the E85 where mm -hmm. we were just doing one station only. Mm -hmm. Well, tomorrow it's going to be at nine different stations. We're going to get into that a little bit later where all they're at, but yeah. it's going to be going on all at once. So. Who can use E15? You know, that's the neat part about E15. As I mentioned before, when we do these promotions, we've always been looking at people who drive flex fuel vehicles. Mm -hmm. The nice part about tomorrow and why it can be used by everybody is that this goes to any car that's 2001 and newer. So you might be saying, all right, so I have a 2001 that's newer car. Mm -hmm. I use E10 now. So what's E15? E10 is 10% ethanol. E15 is just simply 15% ethanol. So it's even a better deal. Okay. For, it, it, yeah. And so you want people to start looking at E15 as an option. What, what, why? Why is that? What, what is, what's good about E15? What are the advantages? Well, there's just so many different advantages that come along with that of using E15. One is it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. You're going to see that it's going to have a, a penny or two difference between even E10 on there. Um, so it's, it's just a good thing to use. There's a lot of clean air advantages, which we're going to talk about also mm -hmm. here after a bit of using that. But um, why wouldn't you want to save a little bit of money? I mean, anybody wants to save money as they pull up to the pump. Right? Yeah, and like we're looking at right here, flex fuel vehicles can use E15 as well. Yes, and flex fuel vehicles can too. And as we talked about, most of the time we're concentrating on the flex fuel vehicles. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want the flex fuel vehicles to be left out also. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, uh, those flex fuel vehicles can pull in. A flex fuel vehicle can use anything up to E85, so all the way from E10 to E85. So E15 is also an option for those flex fuel vehicles. And I would imagine when you were talking about clean air that every little bit counts so if you can even do the e15 if you're in a regular vehicle that's not a flex fuel vehicle that is a huge contribution to less damage to the environment is that a and fair? that is other than the the effect that it has on your pocketbook that is the biggest advantage mm -hmm. you're using 50 percent more ethanol by going from e10 to e15 if you have a 2001 newer car you can use it so you can save money all right you're using that that extra ethanol you know ethanol puts octane in the gas and in order for the oil companies to put that octane in, they have to use some pretty nasty stuff to put in there, stuff mm. that's not good for us to breathe. Sure, sure. So every time you use more ethanol, you're actually ta you're taking less of that nasty stuff out of the air. You're, you're, you're helping that fuel to burn cleaner uh, because it's, ethanol's kind of like uh, uh, putting a, a fan to a flame, to a fire. Sure. Okay. You're giving it more oxygen, so it burns more completely. Yeah, and you can so see the list right there, the bullet points of why Ethanol it burns a little bit cleaner. Yes. Yeah. And why wouldn't we want to have cleaner Absolutely. air to breathe? Absolutely. And the nice part about it is one of the on that last bullet point there, you'll see the map of little steps. Mm -hmm. uh, the little steps big impact. MAPA realizes how important this is to our air quality. And also the American Lung Association of the Upper Midwest also comes out and, and talks a lot about how much ethanol helps to clean up our air. Yeah, we we've talked to MAPA. I'm sorry, Nick, we talked to MAPA several times yes. on our show and, and I know the, the big sticking point with them right now is the ground level ozone. Yes. And that's, and that's, so that's what you're talking about here. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. It really helps on that in order to keep things to where you don't go into containment, you know, uh, with, with the uh, ground level ozone because mm -hmm. you don't want to go there. Right. And so many times doing these good things, for example, eating organic food is usually more expensive, but, but this is actually a better deal. And that's so the neat thing about it. It's a win all the way around. A lot of times when people pull up to the pump, they see E15 and they think, oh, that's cheaper. That can't be as good of a product. And that's the neat thing about it is it's one of those too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not too good to be true because it's cheaper, but yet it's a better quality fuel, uh, higher, higher octane fuel and better quality for your car. And so tomorrow it's a little bit different than what you've done in the past. And you're making it easy for consumers to find these locations because there's multiple locations around the metro. How can we get a list on our phones or our tablets? The best place to go, there's a couple websites to go to. The, the, for Omaha here, e15omaha.com is a really good one to go uh -huh. to. And then there's a second one, AmericanEthanolNE.com. 
And those are both really good sources. It will mm -hmm. have this list right there on the home page. So uh, make sure that you, you take a look at that list, see what's close to you. And uh, all the way from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can just pull in. We're not going to have people on the ground like we've had in the other promotions. Mm -hmm. It's just too much to handle. So yeah. you can just pull in there. Uh, hope the, hopefully the lines won't be long since we're doing all kinds That's of things. That's what patients. I wanted to ask yeah. you about. Yeah. What, what, can, what can consumers expect? The people looking to fill up to take advantage of this offer. Are there lines? You've done these before, but not this many locations. Right. When we've done the promotions before, it's always been one station. Yeah. So, yeah, the lines got pretty long. Sometimes there was a 20, 30-minute wait. So with all of these stations going and with all of the pumps uh, going where you see the blue hose, uh, you're going to be able to hopefully just be able to pull in pretty good time. Of course, it's bringing in more people, too, because yeah, this, this sure. affects a whole lot more people than yeah. just flex fuel drivers. E15, so. well, it's for 12 hours tomorrow, Friday, uh, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can get it for a buck 15, that buck E15 15, fuel. Yeah. Roger, always bringing some good stuff on the show. You betcha. All right, thanks a lot. Thank uh, you. The Duo Bell